Hello, hello. <laughs> See here, I got to switch over. Oh, Hey, Marianne. Hey, how are hello. you? I am good. Nice. What do we got going on here? Mr. Scott. I mean, uh, Mr. Alex. Hi. Hi. Alex, and we've got Dave. Hello, everybody. Woohoo. Oh, yeah. Marianne, love you. Bunches. How's everybody doing? Everybody doing? Great. Jeff, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Good. I got to rename myself here. Hold on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> People think I'm Tom Chanel. No, you're much prettier than he is. Aww. <laughs> All right. I think we got Tom on here. And someone else just logged in under Tom. Yeah, me. Where is he? Oh, no, no. He'll be back. That was James. That James, you're more. Hi, honey. Who said that? Pamela. <laughs> it's Pamela. Hi, honey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> good. Right. Now, do we see Tom on here? I just talked to him. He was going to comb his hair. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Why comb it? <laughs> Don't just mess it up again. It doesn't really help, does it? <laughs> yeah, he and Ben Fuchs have a hair thing going, don't they? I know that one photo of Ben. He really looked like he needed a calm down or a comb over, something like that. Here he is. Tommy is on. Tom, I don't Yay. know. Here. Where? What did you say, sweetie? Tarzan. Here's Tom. Hi, kid. <laughs> oh, there you are. Okay. You, there's two Toms on here. <gasps> Hanny. I see your name, but not a face. Yeah, all we can do is what we're looking at, really. <laughs> Are you using two, your computer and your screen? Oh man, Alex is serious. He put a hat on. He's ready. Yeah. Ready. Bad hair day. What do you call it? Fashion Insta. Hat fashion machine. I do love hats. Hats and shoes. Hats and shoes. Tom. Oh, I love shoes. Okay, Marianne, it's 5.30. Let's get this show on the road. We do analyze good behavior. I'm going to mute everybody, but unmute you. Okay, you're unmuted. Let's go. But we can't see you. You know that. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, we can't see you. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what we're looking at. All right. Let me Give me two seconds. Alex, tell a joke. <clears throat> You want to know about the Pope and the lawyer that went to heaven? What happened? Yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there's the Pope and the lawyer that went to heaven on the same day. And St. Peter greeted them at the pearly gates and said, let's show the Pope his house first. And he took him to a very modest cottage in heaven, a few billowy clouds and a few angels and harps, but a very small cottage. Uh, and the Pope went inside and got settled. And then he said, okay, Mr. Lawyer, I'll take you to your home here in heaven. And so he took the lawyer up the, the, the longest road in heaven, up to the biggest palatial mansion they had in heaven. I mean, there were dozens of angels and harps. It was just gorgeous. It was a huge mansion. And the, the attorney, the lawyer, looks at St. Peter and says, I don't get it. The Pope gets a little tiny cottage. I get the biggest house in heaven. St. Peter says, oh, that's, that's really easy. Um, we have lots of popes here in heaven. You're the first lawyer that's ever showed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 that's 
Absolutely. All right. I am here now. Let's get this show on the road. And <laughs> All right. We're muting. Yeah. So. I find you, though. Okay. You're going to find me here in a second. You've got Alex. I can see. But here's the deal, everybody. We are going to cover a lot of ground tonight. And here's what we're going to cover. We're going to start a book study. And it's going to be on Monday nights. And it. it Jeez, don't I look nice? Holy mackerel. And we're going to start a book study and it's going to be on GoPro. And we're going to do it on Monday nights. We're going to do it on a Zoom. And the fabulous Pamela Schwartz is going to do it. And it will depend on its start date, all completely on Hurricane Ir uh, Irma. Is that who's coming in? Irma. So we've got to find out about Irma, Irma. and find out if it's going to hit her area. Uh, really, really hard. If it is, I'm sure it's going to take us her a little time to help people dig out. Uh, while we're at it, we want to talk about all of the hurricane efforts. Thanks to Be the Change. Thanks to all of you people that contributed in your own way around that. It is a big deal, and it is very, very sad that uh, that those people are going through this stuff. And what we want to do is make sure that our that we're doing all we're, we're supporting it with our money and with our time, and especially with our prayers. So keep on top of that. Uh, the next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about uh, really, really big time is 65 and a wake up. You guys are doing a great job in there. Uh, we're gonna to talk to you about, Adrian Chenault's gonna come on here at the end of the call or sometime in it and talk to you guys uh, just about contact mapping and getting your data into your information because it's critically, critically important. And what we're trying to do is have all this stuff work together. So you understand that when you're interviewing people, you are not, it is not just idle chatter. There is something at the end of the rainbow called great relationships with those people that you've never maybe had before because you really got to know them and take those relationships to a different level. And inside of that, you're also able to, and I don't even like the using the word monetize it, because you're able to give those people something inside of the seven longevity verticals that is gonna serve them, and it's gonna be perfect for their life, uh, of which the most important one is hope. Most people are hopeless out there. They're scared to death. They don't know what's gonna happen in the world, and it is a scary place right now. And to have a, st a stable place like longevity to land and build their lives is a gift. And once you start looking at it like that, everything is going to massively shift. We want to help you with that. Right now, we are embarking on another team challenge. And I just saw Rhonda Anderson registering teams like it's going out of style. I watched, I saw Lorette Willison registering teams, Rob and Tanner registering teams. And we want to make this the biggest team challenge ever. And the way to do that is have you understand exactly what it is. And having me explain it to you would be more confusing. I wanted to go straight to the horse's mouth, Alex Tice. And one of the text messages that was running through this thread was, what about a husband and a wife and all that jazz? I don't know the answer to that question. I deferred it to Alex a couple of times. He's here now. So a confused mind does nothing. That, of that, I'm clear. So what I want you guys to do is pepper him with questions so when you get off this call, you understand that we are moving the ball forward and down the tracks, and we are not going to be stopped because you are not confused anymore. So if there's confusion, let's get that solved right now. By the way, Scott Farduas, and I don't know if he's going to do it every Monday night, but I just saw on my phone that he just finished a Zoom on um, on Tuesday night, on Tuesday night, on, he just finished a Zoom like a half an hour ago on his that Rev product for weight loss, and that stuff is unbelievable. And once you start understanding that, that fits in perfectly with the team challenge too, because everybody wants to start a 90-day run on weight loss, and that is a heck of a product. So if you didn't plug into that, we'll get you the recording up on 65 and a wake up so you can watch that. I, I feel bad that I missed it. They sent me a text that I didn't see, uh, possibly because I was taking my second nap of They're the day. It's still going oh. on. It's still going on, Tom. Oh, my gosh. Text I him left it so I could be here with you. I love you for that. Well, you and your 69 other friends. So this is really, really cool. We've got a great number of people on here. Uh, speaking of 66, um, I was talking to a guy, Andre Jabalklop. I don't know if he's on here. He is a professor in, uh, at a, he's been a professor for many, many years. He's 55 years old. Wonderful guy. 
under John Milton Fogg in Longevity, and he was talking to me today, and I was telling him about Adrian's uh, contact mapping app and the fact that we've got all these wire frames done on it and it's headed to the goal line. And he says, oh my gosh, 66. And I go, and what, Andre? And he goes, have you ever read Swimming with the Shark, Sharks by, um, oh man, some guy named McCoy, McKay, Harvey McKay. And it's, it's just a legendary book. And I go, yeah, I've heard about that book and I've heard about that. He goes, don't you remember? He put 66 things that you need to know about everybody in your life. And that is in this book. So I went and got it. I'm going to put the link up here in a minute. But I am going to tell you, we are right on the money. He is a legendary, legendary businessman who believes that contact mapping, just like Bill Clinton, was the most important thing he ever did in his life. And who is in your Rolodex or in your contacts is the most important asset you've got. And inside of that, the information inside of those contacts the person that has the most information wins. And so we're going to take that down the road here in a few minutes after we get done talking to Alex. He is a machine. I don't know what I'd do without Alex Tice. I see Dave Brisky on here too. He can chime in right as the president. Obviously, he can do it whenever he wants. But I'm telling him it might be good if he chimed in right after, he, uh, right after Alex here. And let's take this thing down the highway. So, Alex, what's the state of the team challenge? What are the prizes? How are these people going to win it? What's going on here, man? Let's start with the prizes. So a, a couple people I've talked to, Dave and I have been on the phone off and on all day, reaching out to people. I've been texting people and emailing people. Um, the prevailing feedback I'm getting from just about everybody who hasn't had a team yet or isn't on a team is they have every intention to, but the holiday weekend and um, kind of push things out, which is totally understandable. So there's still plenty of time to get your team together. But one, a, two different people told me this today. They said, well, I'm having a hard time getting a team together because no one wants to win an iPad anymore. All you've done is iPads, iPads, iPads. Well, that just tells me you haven't checked out the prizes this time because the prizes are not iPads. It is a $350 gift card to Apple, Amazon, American Airlines, or Southwest Airlines. You get to choose. With that 350, you can get an iPad, you can get an Apple Watch, you can get an Echo Show, you can get enough probably to cover one person to San Diego for a convention or fly wherever you want on American Airlines or Southwest Airlines. So you get to pick one of those gift cards today uh, if your team wins. Everybody on your team wins that $350 gift card. Like we did last time, second place teams will also uh, be awarded uh, product credit in certain categories of products. And we will be doing drawings again uh, every Wednesday during my Facebook lives. And if I'm not available or I'm traveling, Dave Brisky will be doing one of us will be doing. I wouldn't be surprised if Dave throws in a few Friday drawings. Also, it is no coincidence, guys, that the 65 and a wake up seems to work hand in hand with the team challenge. It's It's not a coincidence. That's how Tom set it up. It's no coincidence that Scott Fardulis did his Zoom call tonight and he's starting a Rev90 program where he wants people to get in great shape in the next 90 days. I've committed to him that I will be a part of that and I will be, uh, my wife and I will be doing the next 90 days getting in good shape. Um, so, but it's not a coincidence that he's starting at the same time as the team challenge. It works hand in hand. It's no coincidence that we're starting Team Challenge here two weeks after we started our first ever getting started training system available at longevityuniversity.com. Every new distributor you bring in in the month of September through the Team Challenge, you can plug right into Longevity University and that getting started training. We did a great uh, training on it with Tom and Scott and Denise and Juliet in Colorado last Wednesday night. So all the tools are there. These are not working independently anymore. One of the things you have told me over and over, Everywhere I've been on the road, through emails, through calls, everybody I've talked to on this call has told me I would bet or thought about it and told your upline, I wish things were a little bit more cohesive with longevity. I wish some of these things worked together. Well, you got 65 in a wake up, works hand in hand with Team Challenge. All of it works hand in hand with uh, Longevity University. You got Scott Fardulis doing a Rev90 program with Sanjeev Javia. So all this works together. The prize is $350 gift card to uh, any of those four locations you want. So the prizes are different this time. You can join Crossline like last time. You can join International, Crossline, Upline, Downline. 
we actually relaxed some of the rules. Last time you, there was a team requirement where you had to bring in 1,500 QV. That's gone. All that's required for a team to qualify is that everyone on that team hits the minimum qualifications, which is enroll three people and 300 QV, any combination of distributors and customers and any combination of that QV. As long as your new enrollment actually has QV, they will count distributor customers. So I could have one person on 100, one person on 150, and one person on 50, and that would add up to 300. That's my minimum qualification. All of this information is on promotions.youngevity.com. I'll type it right into the uh, window here. I got Do it. You, you got it? And it's, it's at promotions.youngevity.com forward slash. Yeah, there you go. Nailed it. So, um, Marianne got it. But so go right there. And the cool thing is, sign up this time is right online. You don't have to send an email. You don't have to wait. Last time you had to wait, I think it was like 24 to 48 hours before Scott Bell and I got everything uh, inputted into the website. Now it's live. He put together a great um, online submission tool. You submit your team, you register your team. It shows up right there on the standings page right away. And don't be scared off by the results you see for some of these teams already because we're counting all September volume. It started counting retroactively September 1st, but we're going to put you in divisions again. So you, you see, I, I saw a team today that already had like 1200 in QV and you may say, my team hasn't done anything yet. I don't even know if I want to register. Don't take that attitude because we're going to put you in divisions again of divisions of no more, I think than 10 teams per division. So we're going to make it really fair. We're going to look at your volume for the last 90 days and take that average. And that's how we set up the divisions to make them, as fair as possible. Let's just, I'll end with this and then answer any questions. Let's just, just look back at April. Scott Bell and I were talking yesterday about what it did for the average business in April that joined Team Challenge. The average business in Team Challenge in April, if you participated and qualified, your business went up by 33%. Now that was average. You take a guy like Scott Fardulis last April, you know, bigger leader, ambassador, his business was up 10 to 12%. But the average was 33%. You take somebody like Del Watkins, who was our rookie of the year, her business shot up like 300% during Team Challenge. So it's guaranteed to work for you. Even if your team doesn't win, if you the quicker you get qualified, the better, because Dave knows the name of the game. Dave pushed this hard last time, is we just want people to get qualified, and we're going to do as many drawings as we can to reward you for that. We'll be doing some team drawings, some individual drawings, your team has got a shot. We had so many teams qualify towards the end of the month last time and then actually win their division or come in second place. And again, the prizes are not iPads this time. It's actually better. You get to pick what your prize is. So it's the best uh, of every world. I see Lorette Willis uh, chiming in. Um, the, the team challenge for Lorette last time did the same type of thing. It increased volume, but just as important, like we do in 65 and Wake Up, it shows you who on your team is really willing to go for it this month and who isn't. And Lorette learned that she had a lot of people join on her team and maybe it wasn't the right time, but she had a lot of people join who did frankly a little more than even she thought they might do and stretch themselves. And, and that's probably my favorite thing about the team challenge is the competition and the accountability between each other is a very healthy thing. And it brings out the best in all of us. For those of you like me and Tom, and I see Pamela Schwartz on here, I know you people that love to be accountable to each other. That's why you're in 65 and wake up. So that's how this works. So a couple things I want to leave you with, and I definitely hope we go to Dave here because he's probably going to hit something that I left out. And if we have any questions, I'll hit those. Is Leave no stone unturned. Reach out to somebody, even if you think, you know what, I'm not sure they want to be on a team. You never know because if they join a team, they might come out of their shell. They might do a little more. Definitely get your teams together today. Tomorrow is the last day to do it. It will absolutely, for those that participate, it will absolutely increase your volume, give you new people to work with, and you're going to set yourself up for an amazing, amazing fall. And, and the registration's online. Check out the prizes. Check out the registrations. Uh, teams are pouring in today. I know we had the holiday weekend, but if you do have any questions, I'll, I'll answer those now. Later, if you think of one, uh, I'm sure it's answered on the website. Scott Bell did a great job putting that together. Um, if it's not answered there, promotions at longevity.com is the uh, email address. And between Scott and I, there are very few hours where that's not being answered. Maybe we, Scott, Scott goes to bed early. He, he acts like a 
an old person. So he's in bed by like eight. I go to bed at 11. So he's up at like three or four in the morning answering. Um, I'm covering questions late at night. So we've got that email address covered if you do have questions. Tom, did I leave anything out? And I, if Dave's still on here, I'm sure he's got something to add to this too. Marianne switches straight over to Dave Brisky and look at him just absolutely all tan from France. Have you switched back to English yet? Allez-vous français? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, uh, I'm back in English mode. I still am saying merci a lot, which I don't know why, but I guess that means thank you. So I guess I'm a lot of gratitude. Listen, I, I don't have a lot to, to really add to this, Alex. I know you're going to be disappointed with that, but I want to be here to support you, man, because you did heavy lifting on this thing, and I support people that work hard. Uh, I wanted to jump on here because Tom Chennault, man, he's just one guy you've got to be there and support. This is tailor-made for 65 and a wake-up people. That's what Team Challenge is all about. And what I loved about this challenge is we got people doing things that they hadn't done before. We had people with their first enrollments. You know, it's the simple things. People, be, their belief level elevated because of competition. They started to enroll people. They started to have those conversations that 65 and a wake up is so great to, to create a habit. And, and this uh, team challenge created that jumpstart for so many people who now had the belief level that they could do it. And uh, it was not one, two, three. It was probably a hundred people that did activity for the first time in longevity because of team challenge. This is a challenge you as leaders want to grab people and get them involved. We've got to get that uh, orphan out there, Alex. We need to get a post up there. A lot of people don't know teams and, and this can be cross line, sideline, international. You can have a team and you know, a partner in Australia, someone in New Zealand, someone in Asia and someone in the U S it doesn't matter. You're just getting on a team. So we've got to start placing people on teams and helping them get through those activities that really, really matter. I love this challenge. I love what 65 and a wake up is doing. And I know this will push our business forward. You know, Alex, you pointed out the analytics on this. We had a number of people, you know, you, you went to the other end of the spectrum with a 300% growth, but we had a ton of new people that have 50, 60% growth rate that month that we did that first team challenge. And I know we're going to see a ton of that this month. And it gets people excited about Young Jevity and what we're doing. So that's all I want to add. Thank you to you. Thank you to Tom. I mean, you guys uh, are, you know, you guys get me excited to get out of bed in the morning because you guys do it right and you're so committed to this business. So uh, that's why I wanted to jump on this call, just to be so appreciative uh, of what you guys do. Thank you so much, Dave Brisky. Yeah, so, okay, so there's all kinds of questions there, Alex. I want you to read those. Let me talk about something that Dave Brisky just said that was critically important. You know, fitting in is overrated. I do not fit in. I look most of the time like I went through the robo wash with the window open. I am a hot mess. I like that about me. And I've never, ever, ever tried to fit in. But what I need you to know is even though you don't fit in, you belong. And don't ever think you have to conform. You don't have to conform. I want Pat Kendall to be the best Pat Kendall possible out there. I want you guys to not worry about any of that looking good stuff, Jessica and Brandon. I want you, Peggy Gleason. I want Tar. You could look like Tarzan Campbell. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You can be your best you here because you belong. And that's the name of the game. And that's why this is so perfect, Ralph Nichols, for 65 and a wake up. Because inside of it, you get to be your best you without having to be some cookie cutter little yuppie. I want you to be able to fire on all cylinders and just absolutely rip it out of the park. Ruth Allen, Ruth Allen Sanchez or Krista or Kim Ashi or Lori, that's what I want. And I know you can do that. So all you have to do is go out there and get related to people. Go out there, listen to what they want to buy and come back there to them with something in longevity that's going to fit the hole in their life. That's all we're doing here. Alex, back to you. Then we'll go to Adrian Chenault. So I'm actually posting right now on the longevity corporate uh, page there. Um, I'll have it up here in just a second, a free agent thread. So um, I think that's one of the big questions you got from, I've gotten it privately from a few people is, 
um, is there a place where we could pick up a couple extra people who might want a team? So uh, I'm going to post that here in the next five minutes. And if you uh, if you're looking for a team, go there and connect with each other. I won't have time to be the um, to be the connector and, and run all of that. But all of you did a great job, Tom and, and Marianne. I'm going to tag both of you in the post. You both did a great job helping people last time. Um, so I'll help each other get connected with somebody because some of the some of the best teams we had in April were actually free agent teams. Uh, I remember two teams that did that the people didn't know anybody on the team and got together uh, and, and just made a bunch of, of great stuff happen. So a um, couple final notes um, is the way to win team challenge is communication, communicate, leadership and communication will, will rise to the top and use the tools that are given to you. The getting started program 65 and wake up, get in touch with your leaders. Uh, the prizes are awesome. Check them out on the link that's on the side and everybody that gets in, we will be doing a captain's call by uh, Friday um, at, um, I don't know the time yet, but we'll figure that out. But we'll do our first captain's call on Friday. And I'm going to throw this in. Tom and I talked about this on Wednesday. We had lunch with Adrian. And they walked me through that awesome contact map mapping app, which I cannot wait uh, to see come to fruition. And I'm very happy that I'll be playing a background role and just, just supporting that and helping you, all of you guys get connected on that. But uh, we'll be doing some special drawings just for people in 65 and a wake up who are also in team challenge. So we're going to do a bunch of, whoa, that was weird. A bunch was weird. Um, We're going to do a bunch of drawings in the team challenge, but we'll also do some special drawings for people in 65 and a wake up who are also in the team challenge. So you're going to be doing some double dipping with the drawings. Well, it's, you guys have got a chance to make some money, Ann Parker, you get to let, I mean, you get to light it up. Little Shelby, your, your, your sidekick today, she just, she called herself out. And Denise, I'm coming to you before I drink because I know you need to take a shower. <clears throat> so here's the deal. I know that lots of people feel stuck and they don't know where to start. And the cool thing about what we've got going on here is we're able 100% of the time to help each and every one of you, and that's what we're committed to. There's nobody that's going to get left behind here. If you're brand new, you are the most important people here. We are committed to get you to that foundation rank of longevity, the brick rank, which is a senior associate. And if nothing would make me feel better than seeing all those new people become senior associates, because I will know that their lives changed. And I'll know they're changing somebody's life. And I'll know, Denise, you'll talk about this in a sec. What did Eric Worre talk about as far as people getting checks, Denise? I mean, in that training that we went to that we're going to start training on tonight over at the training center, we're starting a presentation school here in a few minutes. But what did Eric Worre say about those people that got a check, honey? So the retention increased, boy, I do need a I do need a shower. Uh, the end, the retention increased um, by what, like ninety percent? If somebody just made one dollar in their first sixty to ninety days, yeah, one buck. If you get if you can get people one making one dollar, <laughs> if they get a check, they're sticking around. So imagine if you can help them build a check. What happens if you? <laughs> That's a big cold for Tom. If you, what happens if you, by the time the night's over, I'll look like my, my normal self. By, by the way, everybody, I comb my hair every day. It's just within five minutes, somebody's done something where I rub my head and then it's back to creamer time. So we know that. On the flip side of this thing, getting back to a check for people, it is so critically important. So what you want to do is start thinking from there. How do I get this new person a check? How do I take somebody from zero to hero? How do I get somebody to understand that they could actually get their products for free? How do I get somebody to understand that they could actually not only get their products for free, but stretch it a little bit and maybe make that extra 500 to $1,000 a month? What if I get all my people to $1,000 a month? If you could create 1,000 errors, the millionaires are going to take care of themselves. And with the system that has been designed by an Alex Tice that's sitting in Longevity University right now, for each and every one of us, there is no conversation out there on the planet about lack of a culture or lack of a system. It's there. Go watch the comp plan videos. Go watch everything. You are going to be amazed. 
And if you haven't watched that stuff, it's on you. I hate to break it to you, on you. Because if you haven't watched it, you can't teach it. And if you can't teach it, it's because you haven't watched it. So at the end of the day, where do you have any right to say this didn't work if you didn't go to Longevity University and learn that system from Alex? Is that right, Alex Tice? Unmute yourself, Captain America. Okay, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's it was – this isn't something um, – you know, I'd love to take credit that I made it up or came up with it or had an epiphany, but this is just what I was taught 20 years ago, uh, what I put in place 15 years ago, what I was taught from some of the greats in this industry, how you started, Tom, how Eric Worre started. Frankly, these eight steps, and you know, some people use 10 or seven, these steps are the basic foundation of network marketing. And if you follow them, you, you really cannot fail if you're willing to put in the work and follow these. And, and all of your, your leaders have been through this. They've seen it. They've added their feedback. So this isn't new to them. They endorsed it. They're using it. We trained on it with Scott Fardulis's group. So the, and you, you saw, probably saw the Facebook Live last week with Dr. Corey Gold. He's out there training on it. This is the system that will absolutely help you people make not just $1, but you get somebody making $100 in their first month. In my personal experience, people who make $100 in network marketing, you've just guaranteed they're going to stick around for at least one year. And um, that gives you a year to work with somebody. I mean, how awesome is that? All of us have signed up a good distributor who was excited, who was gone 90 days later. You follow that system, you're going to keep a lot more of your people. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> And I, you know, it, it so warms my heart to see little Emily and all these kids. Emily was at the convention. She was selling all the Mia Alicia jewelry. John Funk, his kids are traveling wherever they go. This bit, uh, Juliet, who is Ann Parker's daughter, this business is take your children to work day. And it just, when I see that, when I see all the kids on these screens, it just makes me absolutely overjoyed because that's what this is all about and each and every one of you have got the ability today to take this thing to an entirely different level if you'll just play the game and play it bigger than you ever have i watched lorette willis absolutely rip the cover off the ball i saw that with colleen and keith and emily i saw it with roxanna I'm seeing it with with Kelsey Britton. I mean, it is so exciting to see what's going on here. It is unbelievable, and all of you have got it in you. So keep it up. Uh, Mariana, you need to put up a 65 and a wake-up link. Somebody's trying to figure out what that is, too. So we need to make sure they've got that. So it is on. It is on. We can do this. And the fundamentals of network marketing with the Eric Warre training in six in GoPro going tying into you guys winning a ticket over to the GoPro event in Las Vegas. And those of you in 65 and a wake up that are saying, oh man, now we don't have 66 days to GoPro. I can't make it. Know that Denise and I are rolling that contest on over to the GoPro women's event for the free ticket there too, where Denise has spoken two years in a row. We are leaving nobody behind. I'm watching Stephen D. Blackburn in this game as a couple, Sandy and Rock in this game as a couple. It is just absolutely warming our hearts watching you people. And now to have this contest, this team challenge contest, right inside of it to let you take it all the way to the next level. It's unbelievable. And before I get over to uh, – Denise, do you have anything else to say before I, I take it over to those other guys? No, no, I'm good. Thank you, hon. Okay, so here's the deal. After you get going in 65 and a wake up, and, and those of you that have 20 days in, you're really already there. You don't even know it yet because you've got 40 people on your list and you're starting to see sales pop up. You're starting to see business builders pop up. You're starting to see holes in the way that you were doing it and you're starting to see where your follow-up skills are lacking. And all of a sudden, you're going to have another maybe 40 days to really, really develop that follow-up, which is critically important. But what you're going to see then is, man alive, I can do this. I built the brick. I've built four bricks. Now I've got these leaders. And now you're starting to see that you can take your leaders with you. 
and you're starting to see that you can rank advance yourself by rank advancing your team, which is what this is all about. I'm watching it with Pamela Schwartz. I'm watching it with Roxana. I'm watching it with John Funk. I'm watching it with Pamela Schwartz, who I just said before. I'm watching it. I'm telling you, it will happen to you because you're learning the fundamental skills that you can go teach. And then you wrap in Young Longevity University and you wrap in obviously the getting started and then you have this contest to create create two things urgency and cash flow camaraderie and teams that's four all of a sudden everything changes for the better and that's what i want for you but i know you're all mired up with all you know before when this thing hello nikki and joel that's so exciting uh at the end of the day at the end of the day you're going to be able to manage your business from your phone. You're gonna be able to manage your life. You're gonna be on top of follow-ups like you've never been before. And you're gonna be owning this thing instead of it owning you. And I'm really happy right now that so many of you are texting me on lead overwhelm. Because a month ago, you were telling me you didn't have anybody to talk to. Now Kelsey Britton and all these people are going, holy cow, what do I do now? I've got all these leads, I've got all these prospects, I've got these people asking me about longevity services, they're asking me about memory keeping, they're asking me about all this stuff, and, and it's because you exposed it. So that's what's going on. So let's go over to Adrian Chenault. I mean, this is cool. 66 today, you can still do it. 66 days from November 10th, from now is, is November 10th. So you hypothetically have actually another week to drown a couple times to go out there and put that 66 day streak together. So get off that master craft boat, Pat, Kendall, and get out there and go. So Luke, all you need to do is call me. I'm gonna put my phone number in here. I've seen you on here before. I'm going to explain it to you personally. So all you need to do is call me and I'll save you like a ton of time, but 65 and I'll wake up and go pro. If you don't know what those two things are, those are probably the end of the rainbow as far as becoming a professional network marketer is what we want for all of you. So let's go back over to Adrian Chenault. Adrian, you with us, buddy? Here, can you hear me? Yeah. Talk to us about what's going on. This app is, I mean, it is taken on a life of its own. We are in shock at how well it's going, how much work there is to be done, how much money it's going to cost us. It's, it's, you know, we just, this is like Kennedy saying we're going to send a man to the moon. We are so pregnant right now. It's unbelievable because we didn't realize, A, that the world wanted this app so bad and it was so necessary. Number two, we didn't realize what kind of effort it was going to take to produce an app. I mean, you can't believe it. And uh, how hard you're working, and it's really, really nice to work with you every day, you little punk. Look in your camera. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at you. That's why I'm looking down. So uh, it, it's been, it has been awesome. We have have put together this team to go and put to go and work on this app that are missional people that really buy into what we're doing. And we had, a, we had a meeting on Tuesday of last week to kind of introduce everybody and really get them all plugged in and working together instead of just working with us individually. And seeing them really have the light bulb go off when we told them about this team and this group of people that have already been doing it and how big the need is, they just, they got it on a whole new level. And so... I'm more excited than I've ever been. I literally, I'm very worried that I'm going to fall off the wagon on 65 and wake up today because I literally have been locked in this room all day long, uh, writing how to make the peanut butter and jelly sandwich called the contact mapping app, uh, in such a painstaking detail that I am like ready to claw my eyes out, but we are moving this thing forward and we have kind of the manual to do it. And, really we want to have you involved every step of the way and so uh if you don't know what we're talking about uh ping dad or ping me and and we want to talk to you about it but we're going to start setting up some uh some sort of focus groups where we do kind of five or six people at a time on a zoom and really walk you through it in a little bit more detail uh we did that with a team down in texas last week it was awesome we got some great suggestions and i think we were able to to really have a great conversation and in the meantime 
you guys are already doing this. So one of the things that dad just talked about is, you know, if you're 20 days into 65 and a wake up, you've already got 40 people on your list and it's hard to keep track of all those people. And so we have some hacks and some things that we are doing ourselves to keep track of our list in the meantime. And if you need help with that, there is great community in 65 minute wake up to talk about that. So reach out to me, reach out to dad, reach out to Pamela. You know, there's so many people who have forged that path ahead of you, but it's really, really exciting. We just get more and more confirmation every day that this is something that is needed and that is really going to take what was just a little bit tricky and too hard and take all that friction out of it and hold your hand to help you really see the benefit. That's what we're going to do. So that's it for me. Any questions, anything to add dad? No, no, no. You did it beautiful. I'm just telling you every one of you that this is, is a message. Oh, somebody's got forward that messenger. Somebody's talking, but that's okay. Okay. <laughs> And commute back in we've got so many people what's amazing to me is we've held 88 people for this whole call I mean getting people on isn't that hard keeping people on for an hour is absolutely rock star cool and it's another testament to you guys and your absolute belief in what we're doing here and no one that we can get you to where you want to go and here's the progression you come in you buy product, you buy a mega CEO pack, you become, all of a sudden you say, I'm a sales associate, I know I can hit that foundation rank. And that foundation rank is senior associates. That's the one you wanna build everybody to. And then once you've started that, you built four bricks, so all of a sudden, all three of them have to do is start doing something, and the next thing you know, you're a one star. And then you say, man, if I can become a one star, I am sure I can teach my people to be one stars and that projects you up to a two star. But by that time, you've been in this business a little bit of time and all of a sudden you've got more people popping up that have seen your success and now they finally realize that after all this time you're going somewhere and they want to go with you and all of a sudden you start building out more legs and you watch Roxanna and you watch Pamela and you watch these people that have graduated, Lorette Willis, and all of a sudden these legs are just growing wider and wider and wider and deeper and deeper and deeper and it becomes this incredible, incredible, incredible self-fulfilling prophecy that you did just one step at a time and we're going to teach you to do that we're leaving nobody behind and i am promising you we want to do it it's that simple i want to read some questions here because i do not want to hate to have we at eight to twelve weeks one step at a time yeah 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 so do not whatever you do do not wait for the contact app am i on the main screen Am I on the main screen, Marianne? Yes, you are. You're on the big screen. Okay. Can you guys see my phone? Can you guys see my phone? Are, are you holding it up? Yes. Yeah. They can see it? Okay. Here's the deal. Here's Andre. Just so you know. So, Andre, I talked to this morning. His name is not even spelled right in my phone yet. Okay, there he is. Andre, there's his picture, right? I'll tell you how bad I am. Okay. Stay with me. This is worth waiting for. Okay, that, that's when you don't know what you, when you, here's what you, whenever you're ready to do something, make sure you're ready to do something. I've got his name spelled wrong. So I've got the wrong contact on him up, but I do want to show you this. So I've got it. Okay, there he is. Okay, so there's his name, there's his phone number. There's the call we had today. There's his notes. And look at his notes. His notes are horrible. So tonight I have to brain dump Andre in. And it is so easy to brain dump him in there. 
And this is the fix that Adrian talked about. We're going to make this a lot better for you. But all I'm doing right now is hitting my microphone just like that. And I'm saying Andre is a professor at a college in Philadelphia. He's 57 years old. He's got two kids. His daughter is a freshman. His, uh, his, his ninth grade daughter plays the viola, whatever the heck that is. He's lost 55 pounds. His wife has lost 40. He's never felt more healthy in his life. He's also flipping real estate and very excited about that. He did Mark's J course and finally understands he can be a professional network marketer, wants to build a business, wants to stay healthy, wants to get out of being a professor. I go here. And I hit save. It's in my, it's in my phone just like that. I'm saying, Andre, everything went into my notes right there. It is all completely dictated into my phone. And so that, for that reason, I've got all my notes from them. They're not phonetically correct. They're nothing like that. But what I'm telling you is now I've got all his information. And in a month, when I talk to Andre again, because I set him up to call him in a month, because he's not building a business, he's building in real estate right now. And I'm not going to press him. I'm just going to come back in a month. And I'm going to ask his, I'm going to ask about his son that is just starting college and the daughter that is playing that viola. I don't even know what a viola is. And if I don't write down viola, I can promise you in, in a month I'm going to ask about the flute. And it's just, I'm just telling you, you're, do not let your memory be the master here. Contact map these people because all we really want to do, if I would have mentioned when I talked about Pat Kendall a couple of seconds ago, if I would have said, get off of that Malibu boat instead of saying Mastercraft, he'd have hung up and went home because he would no more get on a Malibu than the man in the moon because this guy is a Mastercraft, stars and stripe aficionado, and I would have insulted him. And it's all in the contact mapping that you want to operate. Does that make sense to everybody? And person, the person that's got more, the most people mapped wins. And that is exactly how I have been successful all my life. I've been doing it intuitively. And what Adrian is developing is how to do it for everybody and also have artificial intelligence and all the jazz that go along with meta tags and all that really, really, really help you guys. But you have no idea. The advantage that you're going to have as longevity people and especially 65 and a wake up people over the rest of the network marketing world is going to be like playing in the major leagues against a bunch of single, you'll, you'll think it was Tim Tebow. <laughs> It'll be that, that, that vivid the difference. Uh, you know, look at Pam Bush. What's I love Tim Tebow? Sanjeev and I went down. I have to tell you a story because this is so funny. Sanjeev and I went down to Arizona to watch Tebow play baseball. And it was hilarious because it was, it was this single A Bush League league. And there was Tebow who looked like the most handsome man in the world. So the stands were full of all the Christians. And then the stands were full of all the girls. And then over here was all the baseball fans that knew Tebow was terrible. And they were, so they'd be yelling horrible things about Tebow. And all the girls would be so mad. And all the religious people would be so mad. And Tebow just took a licking and kept on ticking because he is truly a professional athlete who has got the guts to go out and do something absolutely extraordinary, like 65 and a wake up. And who could make somebody with that kind of drive mad? I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, I'm so, I'm Tim Tebow. I'm Tim Tebow, broken down, dead, drunk, alcoholic, laying in the street, couldn't get a job at Taco Bell, me and Tim Tebow. And all of a sudden, here I am. Why? Because I didn't believe anybody else's BS. I didn't believe nobody could do this. I believed I could, just like Jessica and Brandon, just like Tarzan, just like Virginia Napier, just like Ralph Nichols and whoever is sitting with him, just like Peggy Gleason, just like my buddy Jeff Barassa. That event went great by the way, Jeff. Thank you for your video. Annie Parker, all of you, it's unbelievable. You can do this because you all know somebody. I put the tickets out. I put the tickets out. I, I wanted to take Rock and Sandy to the football game. And I, I wanted to get good tickets. And I put, up a, I put up a note. And I said, does anybody have Bronco tickets? Contact mapping. And I get a call from Ann. She says, my boyfriend works for the Broncos. I go, really? Yeah, his name is Mike. 
What's he do? Can't tell you. It's too high level a job. I go, well, can you get me tickets? She said, I can't get you free tickets, but you can pay for them, but I can get you great seats and I can get you on the field. I said, holy mackerel, my hair's on fire. She said, it's a deal. And I'll be darned if her husband, her boyfriend, husband to be, no, I'm kidding, not, not, not married yet. This guy got us the most unbelievable tickets and got on the field. Why? Because of contact mapping. Why? Because of somebody you know. Why? Because I didn't know Mike. I knew Ann. I didn't know Mike, but Ann knew Mike. And Ann called up Mike and said, Mike, can you do me a favor? Yeah, Ann, what's the favor? Can you get tickets for my friend Tom? Absolutely. He's got two friends who are Green Bay Packer fans. Can You know, I, looked, I totally shot him in the foot because I took a couple Packer fans to the Broncos game. But you know what? That's what contact mapping is. It's not who you know. It's who you know who knows somebody. So just learn that and teach that and believe that. Do you guys believe that? I'm telling you the truth. That's what this is all about. Stop worrying about who you know. Start thinking about who knows somebody that you know. Because I guarantee you, every one of you know an unbelievable guy, an unbelievable network marketer, like the best network marketer you've ever seen, who used to be a broken down alcoholic laying in the street drunk who didn't have a dollar. Because all of you guys know me. So think about that. You guys all know me. So you start thinking about who you know, you probably know more than one me. You know lots of me's. Think about your minister. Who's he know? Think about your UPS guy. Who's he know? Think about Ann Parker. Who's she know? Think about Ruth Evan. Who's she know? Think about Elder Clarence. Who's he know? Think about Sharon. Who we, think about Renee Monero, who's laying sideways on the screen. Who do we know? That's all you're thinking about. Play that game, Kim Ashkey. Who do you know? That's all you're doing, Colleen and Keith. Keith, it's good to see you, man. It was so great to talk to you on the phone yesterday. Made me cry. Susie Shipper, making it through this thing like a mad woman. Just did it. Looking at Carol Parsons, knocking the cover off the ball. Every one of you guys can do this. Rock and Sandy, come all the way to Colorado. Do an unbelievable job for us there. Every one of you guys have that game. All you need to do is believe you've got it, Ivan Sleeper. Do not be sleeping, Ivan. You have got this. I know you've got this. Lori Danette, our wonderful little Davenport girl. Every one of you can do this. Chris Downs, getting back on the horse. Greg Chatty, Chattick, it's your turn. Devin and Dylan, every one of you guys can do this. We've got to have team challenge. We've got to have the belief that every one of us are in this thing together, Dylan. Every one of us, Lisa Huff. I'm just telling you, I can go on and on because every one of you guys are extraordinary. Lisa Marie Ingram, unbelievable. Little Caitlin, you are stepping up every day. I don't know where my Hannah, Tanny, whatever his name is from the uh, Philippines is. Luke Slaybach, I can't believe you don't know what this 65 and a wake up is. You and I are going to have a chat afterward. We've got to get you here. Hanny's his name. Lanny Sharp, I know you've got it. So just, I'm calling out names because I'm so, I'm so proud of each and every one of you. George Maitland, call me. I need to talk to you about your friends, uh, the woman who's got the little girl that went to GoPro. I can't think of her name off the top of my head. We've got to talk about her after this call. Lisa Hoff, everybody. But, oh, I know what I want to say before we get off here. Don't wait for longevity. If you're waiting for longevity to recognize your people, you are late. Do not do that. And recognize from getting in, like Noah Sigmund and that team does, all the way through CEO pack, all the way through sales associate, all the way through senior associate, all the way through one star, two star, three star, four star. Catch these people doing things right. You can put their picture up. With 900 million people in my organization, it's impossible for me to do all that, but it's not impossible for each and every one of you. You can put their picture up, tag me, it will go through my wall. I want people recognized because I'm telling you, this business is not hard for me. I mean, I would dig ditches from here to, I don't care, all the way over to uh, Joshua Johnson's house. I would do, you know, because I know what's, if that's what it took for me to have the lifestyle I've got right now, that's what I would do because I know it's been worth it. Right now, what I do, I don't earn the money. I promise you. What I did was something a long time ago that's got me this money. 
I know the work is being done by you people that are just getting started, by you people that are trying to figure out if this is worth it or not, with you, by you people wondering if you can do it. You know, the, the name of the game is, do I believe in young, do I believe in network marketing? Yes. Do I believe in longevity? Yes. Do I believe in my, uh, the products? Yes. Do I believe in the comp plan? Yes. Do I believe in myself? Maybe. Can I trust these people I'm going with? Maybe. And that's the kind of thing that you want to get to. Whoever, whoever shared that screen, unshare it, please. So I am telling you, this is how, hey, Rock, you got to unshare your screen. I, this is how we do it. This is how we do it, each and every one of us. And I love the fact that Rock took me literally right there and said, I'm going to put two guys on the screen who I'm trying to celebrate in this business because those guys are rock stars and I wanted them to be recognized by everybody on 65 and a wake up in this Zoom. But I am telling you, all this business is, is getting everybody started. Everybody. Melinda Wynn, you are a little rock star. It is so happy. I'm happy to see all you people. I want to come back down to Florida. I want to help you. I want Roxanna to put together a big meeting. I want you to cancel your horse lessons on Saturday. We want to do a big training on this. We got to do the same thing up in Baltimore with Linda Tyler and all those people. We've got to do this thing all over the country because I am telling you, this is your chance to grab the brass ring and own your life. I am dead certain of it. 623, we got seven minutes left. Who's got questions? Let me go look at this thing. Somebody say something, I'll come to Florida. Yeah, come to Florida, I'll do it. Go pro, 16th, 17th, and 18th of November, Luke. Come on, Tom, get to work. I know, that's the story of my life. Okay, mastersofenrollment.com, you gotta go there. Gavin, how are you, buddy? Glad to have you on here too. I want you to earn a free ticket to go pro. That's going to take you 66 days. You can earn the airfare to go pro in the month of September by stepping on the gas pedal. Do not leave this call without getting yourself on a team and do not leave this call with not, without understanding what it takes to take it to the next level. So you earn cash, you earn gift certificates for airplane tickets and Apple and everything else. And then on top of that, you earn a GoPro ticket. But the benefit, and you can ask Pamela Schwartz, make yourself live. This is important. Anthony, I'm here. What you need? Okay, here's my question. So you yes. got a 65 and a wake up. You've been a one star. Yes. You've been a one star since it was invented. You were frustrated at not. <laughs> Three being, years. Yeah, not <laughs> being able to rank up. And all of a sudden, you got in 65 and a wake up, and you went out because you're a type A Harvard girl, and went out and won that GoPro ticket. And you thought, yes, you thought the contest was about the GoPro ticket. And you finally, about halfway, figured out, knew I lied to you. Because the guy with the GoPro ticket, you don't give a rats about that GoPro ticket anymore. You walked out of there not only knowing you were a network marketer, but knowing you could make network marketers. And forgive me for putting words in your mouth, but am I lying or am I dying? Is it the truth? You are straight on target. You got it. It's, it really does it matter. The whole point is that we are, we're doing different things that are creating better habits so that we can do this the right way with very little effort. It just becomes natural. Amen. And that is the biggest gift of all. So thank you. And tell me, instead of being a barking chihuahua, don't your friends like you better now? <laughs> oh my gosh. They're, they're, they're now coming to me and asking me stuff. It's hysterical. Oh, why you, you told me a long time ago, you told me about that. Can you tell me about that again? I'll be like, really? Okay, <laughs> yeah. sure. And you guys, I want you to win the tech trips. I want you to win the trips to, to obviously yes. go pro. I want you to win all this stuff. And that's important to me, but not nearly as important as me knowing that you can teach people what we're teaching you. Because there's no way in the world Corey Gold, Louis Ariaza, Scott Fardulis, any of the rock stars can train everybody but together we can. That's what's so cool about that. And nothing, if you guys didn't think I believed in this thing, 
with like every fiber of my body. I'm a successful guy. I could retire in longevity tomorrow. What I did instead at age 66 is I brought my son from Zurich, Switzerland, making a big six-figure number in a corporate job that was burning him out. And I looked him in the eye and said, come home. You and I can build something in network marketing that's going to give you the chance to grow up with your kids. And I'm going to tell every one of you, you have got a chance in longevity and network marketing to build something that's going to let you grow up with your kids, with your grandkids, with your great grandkids. And I am telling you, you're all going along. Every one of you, you don't even know it. You are in a test tube with my son. You're in a test tube with my wife. You're going to be in a test tube with my other son, Dominic. Hopefully, one of these days, you're going to be in a test tube with my daughter, Courtney, but she's still out there in that corporate America world, beating her brains out, and she hasn't figured it out yet. But I am going to tell you guys something. This is like life and death important to me. I am committed to you having an unbelievable life here to the point that I reply, I look at what's going on with me. I am, you know, you talk about, and most of you, I just saw Carol Parsons post like 63 days in a row, and I said, no more of that. And you're all going, well, I don't have time to post every day. Do you really think I have time to respond to each and every one of your comments every day, seven days a week? I don't have time for that. But you know what? I do it because I have to. And I'm telling you that you have to do it because you have to. Because if you do it, you're going to develop that habit. And if you develop that habit, you are going to own your life. You're going to have better friends. You're going to be able to build this business. And you're going to be able to teach it to literally anybody on the planet. But there's no shortcuts, Rock. There's no shortcuts, Carol. You've got to do it like everybody else is doing it. And even though you're able to put together all those days in a row and remember all those interviews and all that jazz, that's wonderful, but your people can't. And this, this isn't about being duplicatable for Tom Chenault or Pamela Schwartz or Susie Schiffer or Lorette Willis. This is about being duplicatable for literally everybody in this game. And that's why I'm such a stickler on the integrity of it, because I'm doing it for you, not to you. And you have to trust me on that, Kelsey Britton. I know it's hard, but I know it's worth it. And nothing would be better for me than you look in your upline in the eye and say, would you please do this with me? I, I, I'm, I know I'm doing it for me, but would you do this with me? Because the more people that are making big money that are doing this with us all together, the easier it gets on, on, on those people doing the heavy lifting. So that's my request of you. Anybody, I'm going to look at some questions. Anybody want to say anything? Oh, man. Let's see what we got. No other option. I've seen it. Leah, look at, new, look at Colleen. Rock star. Look at rock rice. Rock star. Turn on his ears. And uh, it works. Lance Gordon, unbelievable. Yeah, Lance Gordon picked up the tab. Rock and his wife came to Denver on a fluke. Lance picked up the tab for their hotel. Uh, the beautiful Ian Parker got the football tickets. It has been unbelievable. I hope you guys, yeah, Natalie Reeder, that is so cool. The free agent Facebook post. Oh, man, that's cool. Good job, Alex. Alex, anything else in here? We like it in the test tube. That's so cool. Yeah. All right. Well, it's 630. We're going to go to our, we're going to go do our presentation school right now. And uh, if you're wondering what that's all about, we aren't sure. So Eric Worre said, teach people to present. So what we're going to do around the corner is teach people to present. And we're going to start doing home meetings out of here. I told Jackie Phillips today, Denise and I will do a few home meetings to show you exactly how to do it as network marketers because we're real familiar with it and we're familiar with the model done by Raymond and Yolanda Brown. We're familiar with the model done by the, obviously the scrapbookers, the memory keepers, the oils people. And we're going to show you how to do these home meetings because it's the, it's the beginning one-on-one -on -one meetings, two-on-one -on -one meetings, home meetings, weekly meetings, monthly trainings. Oh, I forgot to say one thing right now. I am, I am, serious about this. I'm so serious about this. This is unbelievable. Marianne, put the link for the hotel in California up right now. You can't stir the hotel. I mean, it's absolutely insane how hard it is to already get a hotel room in California for the convention dates. 
The hotel we've got is already booked out. We tried to get rooms there and couldn't do it. And then, then, then Michelle Wallach went out and put out a secret link for the 500 rooms that they've got blocked out. We're going to put that out right now. If you do anything in your life, go register for your rooms and register for the convention. Because I am telling you what, San Diego, we have to do it there. We can't do it. You know, the only place we could do it that's as close to uh, Chula Vista as, uh, as uh, where the heck am I talking about, as San Diego is Tijuana. And I don't think you guys all want to stay the night in Tijuana. So here's what you have to do. Get your room reserved. Get your convention ticket right now. Be that leader you want your upline to be. You do it. Your team's going to do it. But I'm telling you right now, go reserve that room at the host hotel. Otherwise, you're going to be taking a cab back and forth to the convention, and you're going to be madder than a hatter. Take that link on. Marianne, is it even, is it even possible? Let's see what they do here. Boom, boom, boom. No, I posted it. Yeah, it says reserve your hotel room for longevity convention. So they don't even hit your card yet. So get your room up there, get, go ahead and get it reserved. Put in a couple extra days if you think you want to go see corporate and do some other fun stuff and um, go after it. it yeah, yeah, very cool. Yeah, and as far as Zooming home meetings, we'll do that. Yeah, especially, yeah, we'll do that. We're going to, you know what, Longevity's job, I swear to you this is true. Their job is to make the product ship the product, and pay on time. Believe it or not, everything else is our job. Believe it or not, everything else is our job. And you guys talk about how long the hold times are at corporate. You know, I, I'll never forget, I walked through corporate one time about 10 years ago, 15 years ago, and I had a huge prospect with me, and it was a deserted island. And the guy said, the phones aren't ringing. I'm telling you, I want no part of this company. There's nothing going on. Okay, so now we're on the other side of the spectrum and the phones are ringing and you can't get through and everybody's complaining it's too busy over there. We just acquired Sorvana, Free Life, Ladara, about four other little companies. You, there is no way on earth that Longevity can keep up with all that thing and they are working day and night and they are working hard on it on making customer service real. But you, I'll tell you what, you go into the company, you walk into that lobby, you see that 200 people standing around there that decided to come for the free will call and you realize we've got something on, we've got a movement on our hands and it is big, but I'm telling you, it's a good thing. So I want that to be a good thing for you. So even though it seems like it's chaos, they're still making the product, they're still shipping the product and they're still paying on time. George, that woman's name I need to talk about is Jennifer Payne. If Jennifer Payne is on here or George, I need to talk to you right away. So, the rooms are not available. What did she just say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Well, you'll have to figure that, but man, this is awesome. There's George Maitland calling now. That's pretty cool. I got to get off the Zoom first, George. All right, everybody. Let's go to the meeting. Let's have a great night. Uh, before, don't hang this thing up yet, Marianne. I want to save all these chats. So I think I can save them and copy them so I can give them to Steve while I can give feedback. Yeah, I can. You got it? Hang on, not yet. Don't close it out because I want to grab all these chats. That's what I forgot to do every week. Give me a couple seconds. You guys, I love you. And I'm so committed to you. And Adrian and I, I mean, it is so nice to have a new, you know, a breath out of lung. You know, here's, a, here's again, I've been doing this for a long time. And to be able to have my life's work called contact mapping actually come to fruition for the world, I didn't even know how important it was until my son figured it out and came back from Zurich. And I'm the most blessed man in the world for having you people in my life. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Over and out. We'll talk to you. We're going to take a look at this Zoom tonight. And if it's worth the time, we'll uh, stream it. If it's not, uh, we won't. <laughs> so Tom Chenault Zoom coming back to you in a few minutes, in about 20 minutes, if it's, if it's something we can do. So we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.
Thank you. Good night. Good night, Marianne. Thank you, Tom. Good night, Adrian. You're in, buddy. Love you guys. Have a great night. Down to 900 square feet. Just like, oh, look at everything. Good.